As I mentioned in the angle, conservative speech is under assault. And one of the starkest examples is at Marquette University. It's a private Catholic school in Milwaukee. Political science professor John McAdams was suspended and has been since 2014 when he chastised a graduate instructor named Cheryl Abate. Why? She apparently told a student that she would not tolerate dissent on the topic of same-sex marriage during her class on ethics. Marquette says it has the legal right to suspend McAdams because he opened Abate up to threats by criticizing her by name. The case is now headed to Wisconsin Supreme Court. Joining us now to explain further is Professor McAdams himself. Professor, you uh, have taught for 30 years at Marquette, and it's a Catholic institution, and yet this instructor uh, berated a student who said, Basically, not all of us agree on your view on, on same-sex marriage. Tell us. Uh, that, that's right. Um, it, it seemed ironic because Marquette claims to be a Catholic institution, but I think a lot of your viewers know that a lot of institutions claim to be Catholic, and fundamentally they're secular and politically correct. Didn't they uh, demand that you uh, prostrate yourself, basically, and apologize uh, for this supposed wrongdoing in your blog post? Uh, where you said, we're, you know, we're basically hardly a university if this is what we're like, if we don't tolerate any dissent. And you refused, is that right, to apologize, sir? Uh, th that's correct. Uh, they told me that they would reinstate me if I apologized and promised uh, to conform to Marquette's supposed guiding values <laughs> and promised to do that. <laughs> of course, I think I've, uh, uh, I think I'm more loyal to Marquette's guiding values than the administration of Marquette University. But of course, uh, this is Stalinist stuff. I'm not going to apologize. 130 years I have passed, and if less our research is wrong, not a single professor has lost tenure. 130 years. But boy, I guess you're, you're a big threat, Professor, because you actually decided to post a blog. Uh, yeah, it, it is ironic. I mean, professors have lost tenure, but it had to be for something like uh, stealing money uh, from research funds or, uh, uh, or raping uh, a student. It, it had to be something like that. Uh, no professor that anyone knows about has ever been uh, fired or even suspended for a blog post. But do you feel bad about, I guess, hurting the feelings of this particular student instructor? I guess she got a deal on her uh, tuition. Um, well, well, I think it's unfortunate that she got uh, some uh, uh, yeah. really uh, nasty emails, although she got no threats. Marquette has claimed she got threats, but she admitted in one of her own blog posts that she'd gotten right. no threats. So, so that wasn't good. On the other hand, Anybody whose misconduct is revealed by a journalist might get some uh, uh, unkind responses. That's that. for sure, Professor. I've been, a, I've been the receiving end of that. Uh, we're going to follow your case. I know the argument's coming up in just about 10 days or so. Uh, and thank you so much for giving us your perspective on this fight at Marquette.